Hi, this is part two. Um, we've now launched Blender. I uh, hit escape to get rid of this window. Here's our cube. We're just going to work with the cube for now. Um, there are many tutorials about how you can uh, edit your geometry. For now we're just going to use a cube geometry because we're interested solely in the texture painting. So over here in object mode in this window, uh, you can see there's a little cube. Um, object mode, we could just look at the objects. Edit mode, we would change the geometry. But the only thing we care about right now uh, is called texture painting. So if we click on texture paint, um, important thing to notice over here, it says missing data, missing UVs, unwrap the mesh, dot, dot, dot. But the important thing is a button that says add simple UVs. So if we click that, then we have a new thing to add a paint slot, which we also want to do. We want to add a paint slot for what is called the diffuse color. So it's the first option from that list. Click on diffuse color. Um, there's some options that come up now. Add texture paint slot. But these options are fine. Don't change any of them. And just click OK. Now our cube is black by default. Um, I want to do two things here. Uh, this pull down menu shows a layout, a screen layout. The default screen layout is what we've been using this whole time. We're going to change this to UV editing layout. Okay? So select this, UV editing. Now we see over here is called, uh, this area here is our UV, which is basically our texture painting. We haven't done anything yet. Over here in this painting window, um, we want to look at the material diffuse color. You have to select that here, material diffuse color. Now we see it's all black. You can see the sides of the cube. One, two, three, four, five, six sides of the cube. Now back in this window, I'm going to paint on the cube. Okay, and this is just basically like, you can use a stylus if you want here. I'm just going to use my trackpad. Just click and drag. You can select different colors of paint. Okay, so very simple, very weird, and you can see that it's updated my UV side over here, and it's updated my cube. I'm going to do a couple more uh, very simple symbols so we can get a feel for this. Okay, so there's our delightful UV uh, painted cube. Just so you know, you can also paint over here on the UV side. Uh, I don't really know how to do that, but it's possible. Um, Alright, so we've got our UV paint and we're going to save it. So we go over to image down here. Actually first what we're going to do is we're going to save our whole blender model. So this project, this blender project, we're going to save the whole thing. And what we'll do to be simple is we will save this in our JavaScript directory, the place where we're doing um, our JavaScript work. I'm going to save it here. I'm going to call it demo.blend. doesn't matter. You call it whatever you want to call it. It's in the same directory as our HTML and JavaScript files. It doesn't have to be, but this will make it easier for us to remember where it is. Save the Blender file. Okay. Now then over here, at, under Image, we actually want to save this image too, because we have to load this. So Image, save as Image, uh, and we will call this demo.png. It's just a PNG file, so save as demo.png, which means that you can edit it in other imaging uh, editors. Um, finally, we've saved our image, we've saved our Blender file, but now we need to export this model in a format that 3JS can understand. So we go to File, Export, uh, it's a Wavefront file format, .obj format. Export as OBJ format. See that? File, Export, OBJ. Uh, we'll call it demo.obj, that's good. Export OBJ. Great. Uh, let's see now if we go to rendered, if it shows up our texture. Yes, good. Okay. Um, great. Now we can quit Blender. And we're just going to verify that our textures and stuff got added correctly. So back in our 3JS uh, JavaScript project, we'll look at demo blend. Actually, that we won't look at because it's a Blender file. But we will look at the object file that has the vertices of our cube, and the demo.material 
we'll refer to our demo.png, our texture map, our um, image map. Okay, so that's fine. Now we want to change our JavaScript and tell it to load this file. So load mesh instead of AC2, we'll just call it demo. Okay, uh, now if we go over to our window here, ta-da, there's our cube with our painting on it. Okay, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for episode three, where we do the same with Magic of Voxel.